Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It's been a while, so good morning. Uh, I took a little break myself just to, you know, kind of refresh things, but uh, today we are back with a different type of video, not Righteous Fire, I promise. Um, I kind of got addicted to playing kind of like League Start builds, uh, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys a little showcase of what we have here. So this character has been played now for 15 hours, so a little bit less than that I AFK a lot. And we actually hosted a private league uh, the other day. So the private league is about, um, I think, two and a half, maybe three days old. So you can kind of see the ladder on here just for fun. Uh, essentially, it's a fresh restart until Diablo 4 hits. Uh, then I'll be producing Diablo 4 content. But today I am here to just kind of show you guys uh, Ignite Wave of Conviction Elementalist. I'm sure you've seen a lot of YouTubers cover this skill, so I'm not really trying to make a guide for it, right? I just want to introduce you guys to it to show you how easy it is to get started. Um, so that being said, uh, I am just going to go ahead and run a quick map, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about the character. Uh, definitely really squishy compared to what I am used to, <laughs> I guess you could say, right? But, you know, it comes with a, it comes with a plus, right? The build really does clear super well on very minimal gear. I mean, I'm running on a 5-link right now with a Singularity. You don't even need a Singularity. It's just TLDR, the first modifier, unique modifier, lightning damage to spells is kind of like a tier 1 roll. And then the nearby enemies are hindered uh, with 100% increased damage against hindered enemies. It's kind of like a T1 roll. So it's like two T1 rolls with quality of life with cast speed and slow. It's not anything crazy though. So the, the core concept of this character is clearing with your wave of conviction with Ignite. Eventually I want to gear into a barracks respite ring so that I can get much better clear. So that's actually what I'm doing right now with my Atlas. Siege has a card, uh, one of two, or two, well, two of two that can drop barracks respite. So I'm trying to bounce back maps to kind of get uh, Siege going, and I'm running a Wandering Path Atlas for that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. You'll notice though, even though I'm playing an Ignite character, I have Hatred on, and the reasoning for Hatred on this type of character is simply because with Elementalist, you get this node that says all damage can ignite, which means all damage is literally added to the Ignite. Um, the main focus with that, though, is you want to make sure that fire is still your highest damage type, because if fire is not your highest damage type, you are losing the 25% multi on Shaper of Flames. So this character is very different from what I normally play. It's a spell suppression based character, utilizing a Divine Blessing setup. Um, I would like to eventually go Eldritch, uh, sorry, not Eldritch Battery, but Mind Over Matter with um, Eldritch Battery. The problem with Mind Over Matter is I don't really know how to properly sustain the energy shield. Right now, a lot of it sustains off of recharge. So essentially, when I cast my skill, you permanently have that buffer of energy shield recharge, right? But once you go Mind Over Matter, you're now taking damage to your ES pool, which means you're not going to have that buffer 24-7. Um, I know like Inquisitor is an easy way to sustain it, but that's not really like an elementalist, right? But that's some stuff looking forward to. Otherwise, I don't see myself going past like 5,000 life. Although 5k life with full spell suppression is definitely enough against elemental damage. I'm just concerned against physical because all we can really get is like big sources of conversion, um, which is still good enough, right? I just always want to make the characters a little bit more tanky. So moving on a little bit more with the button presses. Uh, we've got the Hatred Divine Blessing, which we press like every 15 seconds or so. You can see it here. I'll just tap it, and there you go, right? Uh, we've got Wave of Conviction, which is the main form of clear. I've, of course, got my favorite combo, which is Shield Charge and Frost Blink. You can kind of use whatever combo you prefer here. And then you'll notice on my queue, I have something weird, and that's Arcanus Brand. So what Arcanus Brand does is we have it linked currently with Flammability and Elemental Weakness, along with Flame Surge. So when the Arcanist brand goes out, um, I'll just show you an example. It will start to cast Flammability, then Ellie Weakness, and then it will even Flame Surge. Now the purpose of Flame Surge is Flame Surge has this modifier on it that they added, I think, a little bit ago. I don't remember how long ago it was. But basically, it creates Burning Ground based off of the damage of the Ignite. Uh, flame Surge itself cannot ignite, so the Ignite damage is being... Uh, it's basically coming from the Wave of Conviction. Uh, that... Ignite does not scale with support gems, unfortunately, so it works out really well in a 4-link. Now, this boss I'm going to do, like, no damage to because it's curse immune. So I lose my double curse, 
Um, I lose my double curse with Whispers of Doom, my curse effect scaling. But just an example of, you know, a progression, right? So, swing behind here real fast. The damage is still not bad, even on a, uh, on a five link that we're running. And here we just have Wave of Conviction, Swift Affliction, Ignite Prolif, Cruelty, and Combustion. And I don't even believe these are the best links to run. It's just I kind of went with, uh, with what I have. I really wanted to take a step back from building super min-max characters and kind of just taking a break and learning how to play Path of Exile again. I don't know if that makes any sense, but TLDR, instead of spending a lot of time in POB and not liking the result, just get in and play the game and have fun, right? There's always, there's always an infinite amount of time to play, so if you're not liking what you see in POB, there's no harm in just playing the game and figuring it out, right? Okay, uh, that's pretty much done, so let's jump out of there. So, what Barracks Respite would allow us to do, I'd be dropping this ring here, because this is a minimum endurance ring. The Barracks Respite would make it so when my... Uh, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll just log on to another character and show you an example uh, of kind of what I'm aiming for with the Barracks. I don't know how expensive it is on a League Start scenario. I do think it is something that you can target farm, right? It, it might take a little while to target farm, but I do think it is something you could go for. And boy, when you get a barracks, it really changes everything. So this is a character I was just messing around with. It's a prismatic burst character. Then I ended up just putting on barracks respite and it got a lot better. And then I plugged in a wave of conviction and I was like, wow, I should just play a wave of conviction build. So when you kill a shocked enemy, inflict an equivalent shock. That's not really what we care about. That's nice, but we care about the when you kill an ignited enemy, inflict an equivalent ignite on each nearby enemy. And a lot of people think this is like Ellie Prolif, but if you've ever played it before, if you look, it's not like Ellie Prolif, right? It kind of, it, it kind of like rides the, the wave of the pack. I don't really know how to explain it. And then the more dense your maps are, the more beautiful the barracks is going to become, right? Uh, also, you get to potentially remove your Ignite Prolif for something else. Uh, so that is, this is really what we're aiming for, right? I think this will also technically kind of boost your survivability in, uh, those really tight packed maps like Toxic Sewers, Waste Pool, because you'll just kill a mob and it will just arc through like the hallway, right? This is definitely something that we are indeed aiming for. So to go a little bit more into detail on this character, um, I leveled with Rolling Magma into Wave of Conviction right away. Um, you could, of course, level any way you'd like. Um, this is kind of what our tree looks like. It's pretty simple. Um, there's nothing super complex about it. I would like to respec a little bit. Like, I could technically remove all of the stuff here at Shadow and put the Shadow into Templar. But I'm just waiting right now because Dexterity is kind of annoying and the evasion scaling is really nice. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the character. If you guys want to see more... I'll be playing this character probably up until Diablo 4, so there's a lot of content to see on the stream. But again, it's just a very nice, simple league starter, right? Uh, to go across the rest of my links, so um, we have Malevolence and Herald of Ash on our MP pool. I've got the Inspiration, Hatred, Divine Blessing. Inspiration's good because it allows me to actually cast the Divine Blessing, right? Uh, this shield is not really super amazing, but... It has 15 suppression with another 25 suppression. So it allows us to hit the suppression cap very easily, which just makes for a very, very easy gearing in the early stages, right? Um, helmet has literally nothing in it. So I get an open four link when I figure out what to do with it. I'm thinking maybe cast when damage taken steel skin. I'm not too sure. Um, got lucky with a minimum endurance ring, which I really want because I want physical mitigation on this character. Uh, other ring, we're just kind of getting Chaos Res. Amulet has essentially just life and a tiny bit of res. Haven't even anointed anything yet. Uh, boots are just movement speed suppression. Actually got pretty lucky on crafting these. Over here, I've got Shield Charge, Frost Blink, Grace, Faster Attacks. Uh, and then in my gloves, I've got the Flammability, Flame Surge, Ellie Weakness, Arcanist Brand. So nothing really too crazy. Uh, at the moment, freezing is kind of annoying. I need to get a Divine Vessel to unlock. Cannot be frozen here. Um, that will help a lot. Shocks can be kind of annoying too. I'm not really fully sure what to do with shock yet. I'm just using Garu Khan along with a reduced effective shock flask. Uh, and then that means I need a remove bleed flask because of Ralakesh now. Because uh, I'm not actually using Ralakesh. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much about it. Bandits are always going to be kill all. 
um and then here is pretty much the tree just one more time to kind of see what i have done um yeah it's kind of up to you how you want to go ahead and level i pretty much started i think with the cast speed into arcanist dominion grabbed firewalker ellie damage into like breath of flame heart of flame and then you kind of just branch literally wherever you want right as for the ascendancy um shaper of flames was the first one i grabbed um then i went with mastermind of discord then i went with heart of destruction uh, and then the last one it's really up to you on shaper of storms versus bastion of elements i think when i get enough damage i might drop shaper of storms in favor of bastion of elements which would just essentially give us a nice bubble to absorb ellie damage um but the main ellie damage i care about is monsters gaining bonus physical as extra elemental because that is not mitigated by our spell suppression um so that's that's another option right for mitigating some damage anyway though that's pretty much about it hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe and hope i can catch you guys uh watching some of the diablo 4 content that is up and coming i'm pretty excited to just have some fun you know kick back in an mmo like the old days so see you guys all later and thanks for watching